anyway, so let's just find a nice comfortable seat. We'll just start to breathe a little deeper. Allow Michelle, you may want to mute everybody. Oh yeah, sorry, let me do that right now. Mute and mute. Okay, perfect, thanks. All right, so as you start to breathe a little deeper, just allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling. See if you can just feel it without having any thoughts about it. Just moving into that feeling state, that body state. Instead of that mental activity, judging everything state. If you notice any tightness, see if you can bring your breath there. And use every single exhale as an opportunity to release some of that tension. So open your eyes just a tiny bit, just enough to have this little diffused gaze down the nose. Mostly just to see if you can stay in that meditative space, even with your eyes a little open. Sometimes we can access that space of peace, but as soon as we open our eyes or start to move our bodies, <clears throat> it's gone. So see if you can, just not let your eyes try to grab onto anything to focus on. Your eyes are open, but you're not really seeing anything at all. Let's see if you can keep that soft gaze as we start to move our bodies. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown. Exhale, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Let your shoulders melt down your back. And just breathe here. Feel whatever you're feeling. Use each exhale, let something go. Now let your head fall forward. Really feel the weight of it here. Keep allowing your shoulders to soften a little more. And then start to circle your head over to the left, making big, slow circles, letting it drop all the way back if that feels all right. Soft, loving gaze. Deep, slow, rhythmic flow of air through the nose. Maybe your shoulders want to start to roll around a little bit too. Inhale, come back to center, lengthen up. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Shoulders soften, gaze softens. Let it happen. Let your head fall forward. Shoulders soften every exhale. And then start to circle to the right. Maybe shoulders start to roll a little bit too. Inhale, slowly come back to stillness in the center, lengthen up through the crown. Exhale, soften. Now inhale your arms up, squeeze your palms together, lift up, exhale, hinge forward. Bring your hands to the mat or to the ground in front of the mat. Let your head fall heavy. Breathe into those glutes or wherever you feel the tension. Slowly round it back up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn and twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen here. 
Exhale, soften here. Now keep your twist, but just walk your hands out to the right. Starting to lower your head down towards the ground. Try to keep that left glute down. Your head is heavy. Shoulders are soft. Sink in for one more breath. Slowly come back up, inhale your arms up. Exhale, turn and twist left. Inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, soften here. Walk your hands out to the left. Press the right sit bone down. Relax your head. Slowly come back up, inhale, arms up. Squeeze the palms, drop the head back. Exhale, hands to heart. And hands down by your sides. Come onto your hands and your knees. Get that nice tabletop setup going on. Start to really root down into your fingers as you shine the heart forward, lengthening through the back of the neck. Draw the belly in and up, engage that mula bandha. Now reach the right hand forward like you would shake somebody's hand. Lift the left leg up so it's parallel to the ground. Point the toes down and slightly in. Now keep your shoulders in line, keep your hips in line. Keep the back of your neck long. Inhale, find a little more length. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round your spine. Inhale, now we'll point the toe and lift just a little bit higher and we'll look up as we fill up. Exhale, round it out. Try to touch your knee to your forehead. Inhale, lengthen, take your time. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, lengthen. Now hold here. Bring your right arm over to the right and see if you can grab onto that foot. Kick up into your hand. Keep rooting down into the fingers and knuckles of that left hand, lifting through the heart. Using each exhale to soften through the face, through the shoulders. One more breath. And now really, really slowly, we release the toes all the way down to touch the mat, keeping that leg long and straight. Press back through the heel. Find this little calf opening, pressing into the hands evenly, shining the heart forward. Root back through that heel one more time. And then spin the left heel down, slide the right foot behind you like a little kickstand. Peel the left hand up towards the ceiling, stack your shoulders and then bring your left arm up alongside the ear. Feel the left foot rooting down as you scoop the hips forward, reach through the fingers, see where you can soften on the exhale. Stay with your breath, soften your gaze. Feel this energy moving through you, allow it to happen. Slowly come back to your hands and your knees. Do one really slow round of cat-cow. Feel this wave-like motion coming over your spine. Start to feel like your breath is fueling your motion, your movement. Come back to neutral, find all the length. Reach your left hand forward and your right foot back. Point your toes down, level the hips, look down, lengthen on the inhale, exhale, round it out. Keep your belly in. Inhale, lengthen, point the toe, lift a little higher. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round it out. One more time, we lengthen, we hold here. Reach your left arm out to the side. See if you can grab the foot and kick up into your hand. Press down into the fingers and knuckles. Lift up through the heart. One more breath. Slowly float those toes down, straighten the leg, press back through the heel, straighten into the arms, lengthen through the back of the neck. Belly is in, press that heel back, open that calf. 
Spiral the right heel down, slide the left foot back, peel the right hand up, stack the shoulders, and then reach the right arm up alongside the ear, scoop the hips forward, soften the shoulder away from the ear, and reach. Slowly come back, hands and knees, one really slow cat cap. When you're ready, we'll make our way up to downward facing dog. Take your time. Take extra movements if you need to. Pedal it out. Sway the hips or get right into stillness. Starting to sink into the heels. Listening to your body. Feeling whatever you're feeling. Really trying not to have any thoughts about it. Not to have thoughts like, oh, I'm so tight. Just feel it. Now slowly walk your hands back to meet your feet, the back of the mat. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Grab onto your elbows and start to sway a little bit. Shake your head a little bit. Start pressing down into both feet. Start drawing the belly in and up. Maybe you start to straighten into the legs a little bit. Now drag your elbows over to the right. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Press into the feet. Reach your elbows up. Exhale, drop it over to the left. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale, right back down. Press into your feet evenly. Keep your belly in. Keep your nice soft gaze. Stay with your breath. Feel that inhale lifting you up as it fills you up like a balloon. Exhale, belly comes in and up to drop down. Next time you're up, stay up. We'll switch directions. Come over to the right and down. Inhale to the left and up. Next time you're up, stay up. We're just gonna float the hands down by our sides. Step your feet together. Root to rise here. Hold on to this breath. Find that soft, diffused gaze down the nose, trying not to see anything at all. Just using your vision to stay calibrated so you can balance, but not allowing your eyes to focus on anything. Because you may have noticed, as soon as your eyes find something to focus on, they'll start to make a story about it. They'll start to create thoughts. And we're trying to stay in that feeling state, a little deeper than where those thoughts reside. Press into the feet, inhale your hands together above your head. Exhale, lower your hands back behind you, interlace your fingers, maybe your palms glue together and you find a little baby backward bend. Bend your knees, fold forward, reach the hands up and overhead, relax your head and your neck, shake it out a little bit, soften through the shoulders, belly in and up. Knees don't move, booty lowers behind you, Upper body lifts halfway, belly comes in, gazes forward, chin is parallel to the ground. Exhale, fold. We'll do that two more times. Don't move your knees, just lower your booty. Belly in, heart lifts. Exhale, fold. One more time, take your time. Release your hands down, walk them forward into plank pose. Find this nice long line of energy. Lengthen through the back of your neck. Lift your right foot up. Reach back through the toes. Arms stay straight and strong. Back of the neck long. Press into the hands. Find a little more length from your big toe out to the crown. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, shoot it back long. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, shoot it back long. Lower the right foot down. Rock forward and slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck your toes. We'll do four rolling baby cobras. Keep your elbows hugging in and reaching back. Press into the feet to peel the heart up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Take your time.
See if you can let your shoulders slump all the way down to the mat after you empty every last drop of air. Maybe your last one, you start to straighten into the arms. Maybe you look up and reach up through the chin. Exhale, slowly lower down. Press it back to child's pose. And when you're ready, come on up, downward facing dog. Shake your head a little bit. Sink into the heels a little bit. Slowly walk your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Come all the way up. Find a little backward bend. Exhale, hands to heart. Find that soft, diffused gaze down the nose and nothing at all. Use this breath as an invitation to go inward a little deeper. Use this exhale to soften any tension you're holding in your jaw your eyes, your shoulders. We're going to lift the right foot up into tree pose. Root down into the left foot. Bring that right foot up high onto the thigh if you can. And press the foot and thigh together. Bring your hands to your heart. Try to level the hips. Scoop them forward. Let the knee fall back. Root to rise here on the inhale. Exhale, we soften. Hug that right knee in and up. Peel the right hand back. Find a little twist. Gaze back at the right hand. Sweep both arms forward and up. Step back, crescent lunge. Press the left knee forward. Reach up out of the waist. Don't miss this exhale. A chance to soften the shoulders down. Pull the belly in. Engage the Lula Banda. Try to get those hips facing the top of the mat. Bring the hands to the heart. Keep pressing the left knee forward as you turn and twist to the left. Use leverage to turn the heart towards the thumbs. Slowly step the right foot forward to meet the left. Sit into the chair a little deeper. Press that left hand down into the right, roll the left shoulder back. Slowly come to chair pose, sitting back into the chair a little more, reaching up out of the waist a little more. Press into the feet, stand up, find a little backward bend. Maybe a little deeper this time. Exhale, hands to heart. And hands down by your sides. Lift your left foot up into tree pose. Press your foot and thigh together. I guess I should probably have my head in the video since Kenya posts these on YouTube. You guys don't mind, you can't see my face, but. Maybe no one really cares. Press your foot and thigh together. Root to rise here, stay with each breath. All right, hug that left knee in and up. Peel the left hand back, find that little twist. Sweep both arms forward and up, step back, crescent lunge, press the right knee forward, sink in. Keep pressing the right knee forward as you bring your hands to your heart, turn and twist to the right. Twist the heart towards the thumbs. Slowly step the left foot forward, sit back in the chair, twist your spine open. Come to chair pose, sit back into it, press into the feet, stand up, find a little backward bend. Exhale, hands to heart, and hands down by your sides. Lift your right knee up. 
Grab your big toe with your peace sign fingers inside the knee and kick through the heel. Bring your left hand to your hip or out to the side for balance. Kick through the heel as hard as you can. Lift up through the heart. Find all the length. Use this exhale, soften. If you feel balanced, drag it out to the right. Keep kicking through the heel as hard as you can. If you feel balanced, gaze out over the left shoulder. Stay with your breath. Keep your gaze steady and soft. Keep your breath deep and slow. Slowly come back to center. Keep kicking as you lower your head down towards your knee. Slowly come back up. Keep your foot lifted, but release your grip. Point your toe. Lift your leg a little higher. Pull your belly in. Lift a little higher. One more time. Then we're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee and sit back into the figure four. Bring your hands to your heart. Sink in a little more. Booty goes back. Belly goes in. Stay right here or fold forward, reaching your fingers towards the ground, letting your head become heavy. Stay with this breath. Slowly come back up, lift the right knee up high, reach the right hand back, find a little twist, sweep the arms forward and up, step back, crescent lunge. Lower your hands to frame the foot. Step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Optional vinyasa, ripple forward into plank. Lower down. Meet back, downward facing dog. Settle in here for a couple of breaths. Let something go on this exhale. Shift your gaze up between your hands. Bend your knees and walk or hop to the top. Inhale, lift up halfway, and exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up. Find a big old backward bend. Exhale, hands to heart, and hands down by your sides. Lift the left knee up. Hook that big toe with the peace sign fingers, kick through the heel. Use your right hand if it helps. Press down into the right foot, lengthen up through the crown. Stay with this breath. If you feel balanced, drag your left leg out to the left. Keep kicking through the heel. If you feel balanced, gaze out over your right shoulder. Don't forget to soften. Let something go here. Slowly bring it back to center. Keep kicking through the heel as you lower your head down, maybe to touch your knee. We'll come back up. Keep your foot lifted. Release your grip. Point your toe. Lift a little higher. Belly in, lift a little higher one more time. Cross the ankle over the knee. Bring the hands to the heart, sit into the chair. Find your breath. Once you feel stable, maybe you reach the fingertips forward, down towards the ground. Slowly come back up, lift the left knee high, peel the left hand back, find that little twist, step back, crescent lunge, cartwheel hands down, step the right foot back, downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. Inhale, ripple forward into plank, walk or slide the feet back, lowering down to forearm plank. Stacking your shoulders right over your elbows, back of the neck is long, core is super engaged. Start to rock forward and back. Lower the knees down, press it back, child's pose. Let your forehead rest. Slow the breath down even more. Feel whatever you're feeling without any judgment, without any thoughts at all, if possible.
When you're ready, come back up, downward facing dog. Now lift your right leg up, keep your foot flexed, and then drag your right leg out to the side as far as you can. And then bring your right knee to your left elbow. Keep your arms straight, the back of your neck long. And now bring that right leg back over to the right, it's where it was before, flexing the foot, and then come into three-legged dog, sinking into the left heel as you shoot the right foot up a little higher. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round your spine. Inhale, shoot it back up. Bring it out to the right again, as far as you can. And then right knee, left elbow. Now straighten that right leg out to the left. Maybe the foot lowers to the ground, maybe it stays lifted. Peel the left hand up, let the gaze follow. Slowly lower the left hand down, shoot the right knee back up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hips, let the head stay heavy. Sink into that left heel. Come back, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward into plank. Walk or slide the feet back, lower the elbows, forearm plank, lengthen through the back of the neck. Now turn and twist and kiss them out with the right hip. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, left hip. Lengthen every time you come through center on the inhale. And then we're gonna slowly walk the feet in, let the booty go up like dolphin pose. Let your head stay heavy. Let your breath stay deep. Relax your head and your neck and your jaw. And then press it back up, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left foot high. Bring it out to the left, far as you can. Bring the left knee to the right elbow. Stack the shoulders over the wrists. Shoot it back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, shoot it back up. Drag it out to the left. Left knee, right elbow, plank arms. Straighten that leg out to the right. Peel the right hand up. Open your heart. Lower the right hand down, shoot the left foot up, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hips, relax your head and your neck. Come back, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward into plank and lower all the way down to your belly. Let your forehead rest. Bend your knees, reach back, grab your ankles, right on the ankle bone or the top of your foot. And then just squeeze your heels in towards your glutes and try to soften here before you try to lift it all. Maybe it's better to bring your chin to the mat or your lips. Stay with your breath. If and when you feel ready, kick up into your hands, lifting the knees up off the ground. Now keep your grip, but lower your knees back down, lower your chin back down, and squeeze those heels in one more time. Use your breath to soften, let something go. Now release your feet down, roll over onto your back, hug your knees into your chest. We're not on the floor yet, don't worry, we still got a little more standing. Hug your knees in. All right, now we're gonna to start to rock forward and back. Bring your toes to touch the ground behind your head. And when you're ready, we're gonna rock it all the way up to standing. I think we'll be facing the wrong direction, but that's okay. When you're ready, come up to a chair pose. Use your hands if you need to. Find that chair pose. Pull the belly in, sit into the chair. Now bring your hands to your heart. Turn and twist to the right. Sink into the heels, lower the booty. Twist your spine open. Every single exhale, another chance to soften and let go. 
Open the arms up, gaze up at the right hand. Keep your upper body facing this direction. Stay seated in the chair, lift your upper body up. Gaze back at the right hand. Draw the left hip back to keep both hips facing the top of the mat. Slowly step the left foot back, crescent lunge with a twist here. Then we'll find reverse crescent, drop the right hand to the left thigh. Reach the left hand up, sink into the right knee a little. Sink back into the left heel a little. Now plant the left hand down inside the foot, gaze up at the right hand. Roll the right shoulder back, try to stack the shoulders. Lower the right hand down, wiggle the right foot out to the right a little bit. Wiggle the left toes back and lower the left knee down. Maybe you come down onto the forearms or onto a block. Let your head become heavy. Slowly come back up onto the hands, curl the left toes, lift the left knee, and then walk your hands over to the left, come into a wide leg forward fold. Turn your toes in a little bit. Inhale, lift up halfway, and exhale, fold. Walk your hands back between your legs, pull your head down towards the ground. Rock a little weight into the balls of the feet, lift your sit bones up and back. Find your breath. And walk your hands back under your shoulders. Walk your hands over to that right foot. Turn all your toes to face that direction. And then step your left foot forward to meet your right. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Now sit into the chair. Drop weight into your heels. Pull your belly in. Soft, steady gaze. Bring your hands to your heart. Turn and twist to the left. Sink into the heels. Twist your heart towards the thumbs. Let something go. Open your arms up, gaze up at the left hand. Stay seated in the chair, lift your upper body, gaze back at the left hand, draw the right hip back. Slowly, right foot steps back, crescent lunge. Left hand drops to right thigh, reverse crescent. Plant the right hand down, stack the shoulders, gaze up at the left hand, roll the heart open. Lower the left hand down inside the foot, wiggle the right toes back, and lower the elbows down, lower the knee down. Relax your head and your neck. Slowly come back up onto the hands, curl the right toes, lift the right knee, walk the hands over to the right for that wide leg forward fold. Toes turn in, inhale, lift up halfway, and exhale, fold. Maybe you just walk the hands back between the legs again. Maybe you grab those big toes with the peace sign fingers and pull your head down towards the ground. Maybe you rock a little weight into the balls of the feet and lift your hips and start to straighten into the legs. Softly draw your shoulders out of the ears a little bit. Stay with this breath. Bring your hands back under the shoulders. <clears throat> Walk your hands over to the left foot. Turn all your toes to face that direction. Step your right foot forward to meet your left. Sit into the chair. Keep your heart lifted. Interlace your fingers back behind you. Exhale, fold forward. Head is heavy. Inhale, come back up to that chair with that bind. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, come up to the chair. Exhale, fold. Release your hands down. Slowly round up. Press into the feet. Let your head and arms stay heavy. Chin on tucks, heart lifts, shoulders draw down the back. Find that soft, diffused gaze down the nose at nothing at all. 
soften through your shoulders. Notice there's always more space to soften into. Notice by staying conscious and connected, you will never miss a single opportunity to allow every single exhale to help you release and unwind a little bit of this tension that comes along with having a body. See if you can just start to feel this deep sense of balance, whether you call it rooting to rise, balance between both sides of your body, balance between your head and your heart. Imagine for a second that there's energy just coming up your feet out of the earth. See if you can visualize that energy coming up. <clears throat> and imagine it's supposed to come up and move all through your chakras and then move out through you. Like you're filtering this energy so you can put it back better than you found it, or at least just as good. But a lot of times it gets a little stuck. A lot of times our conduit gets a little stagnated we kind of spurred a lot of that energy back out through our lower extremities. See if you can think about your body as this container for that energy right now. Engage the Mula Bandha and imagine that energy coming up through the feet, through the legs and all the way up to the crown. See if you can feel that energy lighting up your heart space. See if you can feel that energy pulsing out through your palms as you return it. Press into your feet, inhale your arms up, squeeze your palms together, lift everything high, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, fold, shoot your right foot up high like standing splits, let your head stay heavy, let your breath stay deep. Now turn your toes open to the side, press into your hands to lift your torso parallel to the ground. Try to stack your hips, bring your right hand to your hip and help it draw back just a little bit more as you move back through the heel, and lift the leg till it's parallel. Try to get your torso parallel. If you feel balanced, reach the right hand up. See if you can find just a little more length from your heel to your crown. See if you can roll that right hip and shoulder back one more time. Keep a deep bend in the left knee. Come all the way up to reverse warrior. Lower the right foot down, reach the left hand up, and then find warrior two. Gaze out over the left fingertips. Press the left knee forward. Soften through the shoulders. Feel this energy moving through your body. Allow it to happen just by staying out of the head. Just by allowing yourself to feel whatever you're feeling. Using every single exhale as a chance to let something go. Now straighten the left leg, shift your hips back, reach forward, come into triangle pose, press down through the feet, scoop the hips towards the long edge, gaze up at the right hand, roll that right shoulder back, pull your belly in. Tuck your chin just a little bit to lengthen through the back of the neck. Maybe the left arm comes up alongside the ear for the last breath. Press into the feet, come all the way up, reverse triangle, reach the left hand up high. Cargo hands down. Shoot the left foot up and back, three-legged dog. Optional three-legged vinyasa, meeting back and downward facing dog. Shift your gaze up between your hands, bend your knees, walk or hop to the top. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, shoot the left foot high, standing splits. Head is heavy, breath is deep. <clears throat> Turn those toes out to the side to stack the hips, root back through the heel. Bring the left hand to the hip, try to get the torso parallel to the ground. If you feel balanced, reach that left hand up, lengthen from heel to crown, roll that left shoulder and left hip back. Find your breath. On an inhale, bend the right knee, come all the way up, reverse warrior, and then open it up like warrior two. Shift the hips back, reach forward, triangle pose. Maybe that right arm comes up alongside the ear for the last breath. 
Inhale, we reverse it, press into the feet, right hand reaches high. Cartwheel hands down, shoot the right foot up, three-legged dog, optional three-legged vinyasa. Meeting back and downward facing dog. All right, lower down to the knees. We're gonna to turn to face the long edge of the mat and we're gonna spread our knees wide. If you can, you're gonna turn your toes out to the sides. And you're gonna get your shins parallel to the front and back of the mat. So your knees and your ankles are in the same line. As you start to walk, press your hips back towards your heels. Stay with your breath. Really slowly come out of it. Move slowly as you turn to face the top of the mat and press back into a child's pose. Reach your arms back by your sides with your palms facing up. Let your shoulders slump down towards the ground. See how long you can hold on to this breath. We'll slowly come up. We're gonna come up to kneeling. Bring your hands to your low back, scoop the hips forward, lift the heart and drop your head back into a deep supported backward bend. On an inhale, slowly come back up. Lower your hands to the ground. We're going to cross the right knee in front of the left. We walk the feet out to the sides a little bit. And we're going to come up onto the knees, bring the hands onto the hips. Stay right here if you like, or inhale the arms up. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms to face up, and drop the hands over to the right. And drop the hands over to the left. Slowly come back up, lower the hands down, unwind the legs, and find some big, slow circles with the hips. Switch directions. Slowly come back to stillness in the center, cross the left knee in front of the right. Walk the feet out, come up onto the knees, bring your hands to your hips, settle in. If and when you're ready, inhale, arms up, palms up, drop the hands to the left. Soften the shoulders down. Notice in a hard pose, it becomes a little bit <clears throat> harder to stay focused on the breath, to keep that soft, steady gaze, to hold on to each breath. Drop the hands over to the right, just like in life. When something difficult arises, the first thing we want to do is let go of all of our tools, all of our practice. See if you can stay in it. Don't let the breath be short just because it's difficult. Bring the breath to those places that need it. Come back up, lower your hands, unwind your legs, find those big slow circles of the hips. and switch directions.
Come back to stillness. And then we're just gonna lay down on our belly and reach your right arm straight out to the side, perpendicular to the body, palm face down. Right ear planted all the way down flat. Plant the left hand in front of your face and roll onto the right side. Bring your left foot flat on the ground somewhere back there behind the knee and start to breathe into that shoulder. If you want more, reach your left hand up towards the ceiling or tuck it back behind you if you like. Slowly release, roll onto the belly. Reach your left arm straight out to the side. Left ear plants, right hand plants in front of face. Roll to the left side, bring the right foot flat. Breathe into the shoulder. Slowly release back onto the belly, bring that arm back in and just roll onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Let's see if you can grab your elbows around the knees and lower your booty down towards the ground. Tuck your chin a little bit. We're gonna roll it back into a plow pose. See if you can get the toes to touch the ground behind your head. Relax your head and your neck. Stay with your breath. Bring your hands to your low back, straighten your feet up towards the ceiling. Stack your hips over your shoulders and your feet over your hips. We're gonna lower back into that plow pose for just a couple breaths. See if you can sink in just a little bit deeper. Press your palms down, use them as the brakes. Really slowly, slowly roll out. Lower your legs all the way down to the ground. Maybe you wanna pop up into a fish for a second. Pressing into the elbows to lift the heart. Dropping the head back. And release, hug your knees into your chest. Here. You knew that? All right, lower your feet down flat. Cross your right knee over your left. Bring your arms straight out to the side like a T, or you can cactus them with your palms face up. Shift your hips to the right and lower the knees to the left. Maybe your toes wrap all the way around that calf. Gaze out over the right hand, relax your shoulders. Stay with this breath a little longer than you think possible, a little longer than you want to. If 
if your eyes are open, soften your gaze. Where's it open? Careful. Slowly come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Lower your feet flat, left knee over right, cactus the arms or straight out to a T, hips to the left, knees to the right. Gaze out over the left hand and make it all about this breath. Let go of the past, of the future, and just be fully right here in this breath, fully immersed, fully devoted to staying with this breath a little longer. Fully devoted to carving out this space where we're not letting the head judge everything, the way that we feel, just by staying with the breath a little longer. We're choosing to prioritize this feeling state, this presence over whatever the mind has to say in this moment. Slowly come back to center, hug your knees into your chest one last time. And then let your legs go long on the mat. Spread your feet as wide as the mat. Let your toes fall open. Close your eyes. Now you did this hard work. You crafted this space. Now let yourself Enjoy this space and give yourself permission to do absolutely nothing.
invite a deeper breath back into your body. And as you invite movement back into your fingers and into your toes, see if you can invite that deep breath to stay. See if you can prioritize it. See if you can notice that every time you decide to breathe a little deeper, you're choosing to be conscious, not automated. And when you're ready, roll onto either side. Imagine that every single movement or every single thought you have is led by a thought. Imagine if you can just start it with that thought. I mean, thought started with the breath. And if you can just start it with a deep breath, just taking that tiny little microsecond before you react, before you do a thing, Infusing it with this consciousness, this presence, this love. When you're ready, slowly drag yourself back up to a seat. Check it out. No. Check it Chevy. No barking. We'll take one last inhale as we reach the arms up. Squeeze the palms together. Lift up the love. Exhale. Draw the hands to the heart. And feel the head humbly bowing to the heart. Lift the thumbs to the space above the eyebrows. Take a moment. Thank yourself for showing up. May all beings everywhere be free from pain and suffering. May our thoughts and actions in some way contribute to that. Namaste. Oh, 